guys and welcome to another plan with me. I'm going to be planning the week of May 9th through the 15th, which is, you know, very exciting. It was actually a very fun week. Very good. Actually, it was really bad first half of the week and a really good second half. Um, I am going to be using the I Do Kit from Scribble Prints Co. I had bought this like last year, whenever it came out, just in case no other wedding kits came out, but it's definitely not the vibes of my wedding, but I still want to use it because it is pretty. It's just not my vibe. Here's the kit. It came with a bowl with this girl. She is stunning, but I'm going to use the blonde girl because I'm blonde. But yeah, these are the full boxes, some extra boxes over there. I do like the green color in this kit. I think it is very pretty. Um, yeah, and oh, there's the bottom washi. I did get the 15 millimeter add-on here, and there were some extra boxes that came as a freebie for the kit that were like the virtual wedding thing which is actually really cute and then like the groom stuff i'm going to be using grandma wallpaper in silver from my shop for the underlays as well as heart to header and bottom washi and then i am bringing in i have these floral overlays from spc i thought would be pretty with this kit as well as some floral overlays from me shop and i have a bunch of quilt overlays from my shop all in silver just going silver for this spread. My inserts are gonna be from Aura Estelle, my tweezers are from Sassy Planner Co, and I think that is all of the housekeeping. I actually just got like so many wax packages in the mail, and it's just been a really exciting day. Today that I'm filming this is the Monday before my wedding, and so, you guys, it's gonna be a busy week. The next plan with me is gonna be so freaking long because I put a day extender on every single day for this week just because I have so much going on and I want to mark everything. I don't want anything to be excluded because it's an exciting, important week of my life. Literally going to be the most important week of my life. So yeah, this past week, let me just tell you, was, oh my gosh, I took out too many sheets was actually an absolute freaking disaster and it's actually really upsetting because Monday I was having such a good day. I felt so productive. I was in such a good mood. I got so much shit done and then all went to hell basically when I, so I always order my paper and like I just, my mind is like I need to finish the old before I start the new. I've never had any issues with paper before. So I finished my old paper, uh, I opened the new paper, and I print and caught the order, and then I go to foil it, and the, instead of it just adhering to like the black part of the words, the entire sheet was just silver foil. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's the foiler. That's what my initial thought was. So I begin like trying to lower the heat, nothing's working, it's just a quite literal mess disaster. I start panicking. I post about it on Instagram, email, call the company, email the company. And basically their whole response was, oh yeah, that happens sometimes. We don't recommend using that paper for foiling. We don't guarantee that it's going to work, blah, 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 blah. As if I haven't been using it for two years now and having absolutely no issues. So then I get to talking to Randy from Planner Pixie Co. Telling her my woes. Okay, so I need... So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So I'm telling her about my woes and all this terrible shit that's happening. And basically she tells me that she's in this, like, Facebook group. And she's heard that that happens sometimes and that they just send it back and they get, like, a refund. And then they reorder the paper and it's fine. So I do that. I re refund, get a return. I do, I had to pay over $100 to ship it back. Super fucking annoying. Wait for my return. And in the meantime, I'm finding, like, a different, trying to find a different place. If they're, like, known to have this problem, like, that's not fucking reliable. Order from a different place. It's going to take, like, two days to get here because it was later in the day. And so I'm waiting for the day for it to arrive, for the, the, the paper from the new place to arrive. And of course it's coming UPS. They didn't get here till after five o'clock and it's not working. Disaster, I'm freaking out. 
And then I joined a Facebook group for like planner shop owners and I'm like searching about like this foiling situation in this group. And I find somebody saying that they had ordered paper from the new place and they had to use like a significantly lower temperature when foiling. So like my old paper, I would, my machine goes by degrees Celsius. I would foil it at 134 degrees Celsius. This new paper, depending on like which foil I'm using, if I'm using, um, like a more textured foil, like some of the new ones coming or like some of the ones that I have left over from Advent that I use for freebies has to be at like 70 degrees Celsius. And like my regular foils have to be at like 90 degrees Celsius, which is still like so much lower. So I ended up making it work, which is a good thing because the new paper did come from the old place and it's like still all fucked up. Can't foil with it. It's literally a fucking nightmare and I feel sick to my stomach for any shop owners because it's terrifying, especially if you are a predominantly foil shop to just like, like so I had posted about it in the Facebook group and somebody was like, yeah, I just had to stop offering foil. And I'm just like, that's my whole business. Like I will then not have a job, but we finally figured that out, so that was good. And the Bridesmaids Dress Saga was finally closed, you guys. Finally. This was on Thursday. That's when day things started turning around. The saga was done. The dresses from Rent the Runway came, and I was a little bit nervous because, like, I had scheduled for them to come the 17th, which is Tuesday of this current week I'm living, and they came Thursday of the week prior and I'm like okay well if that's the case then I'm gonna have to fucking mail these back before I need them so I just wanted to verify and I called rent the runway and they were like yep if we have the dresses available nobody's renting them we'll just send them early so you can have them but you still don't have to send them back until like the day you select it so I was like okay thank god because I was a wee bit worried and so that got resolved and that saga is done and if you've been around for the whole saga you know what level of relief it is that that's done i had posted about it on my instagram story that it was finally done and the amount of messages i got from people being like oh my god girl i'm so happy for you i was even stressing out for you was wild i've also never used these underlays and they look so pretty with this kit big fan of how this is turning out already so that happened which was so good and then um friday i was able to get most orders done i finished them like midday on saturday saturday night i got to like do something fun i went with my sister and whitney to this like food truck thing they do this at like the where we have like our state fair and stuff like that area <clears throat> like over the summer we'll have like these food truck battles and the first one of the season was happening so we went to that and it was just so fun to like do something fun because so i've just been so stressed out for so many weeks in a row now so it was just like it was just so nice to be able to just decompress with like my best friends and then Sunday, it was a surprise birthday party for my best friend. Today, as I'm filming, this is 16th, it's her real birthday. But her husband planned her a surprise 30th birthday party. So that was a lot of fun. However, she was not feeling very well. She thinks she gets um, like ovarian cysts. And she thinks she has one right now. So that's poopy for her. But she did have, she's feeling better now. And she did have a really nice time. Speaking of, one of my friends who's my bridesmaid, she just has the worst freaking luck. She texts me today and is like, so I'm just keeping you updated. I have like a pretty bad concussion. I'm leaving the ER now. And I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck happened? I'm like sitting here thinking this girl works in an office. Like what could she have done to get a concussion? But she was at one of her, she has two sons that are like, one of them grad, just graduated high school and the other was I think a freshman. Oh, these work perfectly and I can de the rest of the numbers. But 
she was at her son's game and she got a ball went rogue and hit her in the back of the head and she today on monday went to the emergency room because she was like really not feeling good her head's throbbing she's having light sensitivity and yeah she basically has a herniated disc from it and this girl just can't catch a freaking break i swear to fucking god i feel so upset for her we were talking and she's like i'm definitely still gonna be there saturday i'm just probably gonna have to rest a bit but she said like the bridal suite where we're getting ready has plenty of places to sit and i'm like yeah and then like i'm not having a religious ceremony where i feel like a lot of the times like especially catholic ceremonies no shade i'm just saying are very long and we're just doing like a we wrote our own vows type ceremony so this whole thing's gonna be like i swear to god it's 15 minutes long. I'm like, you got to stand for that. And then the formal introductions and you can sit the rest of the time. And she's like, exactly what I was thinking. So I just feel so, so freaking bad for her. She seriously cannot catch a break. Ever. When it comes to like her health. So I feel really bad for her. She's the same one who got sick when we were in Disney. She just don't got that good luck. But, yeah, so it was a, a pretty good week. I don't know if I really have all that much to talk about besides that. I just, that sticker situation was wild. Oh, we got our place cards in for the wedding, and they're literally freaking stunning. I'm obsessed with them. However, out of every single guest, I spell one person's name wrong, and of course, it's one of the groomsmen. His name is John, like Jonathan is his full name. So I did like the full name and I put an H, like J-O-H in a thin instead of J-O-N a thin. And yeah, I feel really bad about that, but nothing I can do about it now. And also Chris is starting to panic because like we just rented tuxedos from Men's Warehouse and like they haven't gotten the call that they're ready yet. So Chris called them today like yeah you at the latest we'll call you is thursday they're not ready yet blah 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 and chris has been kind of stressed out about that because he's like what if they don't fit but i think they will be fine but also at the same time i understand the panic i didn't bring um the usual foil flags out so i guess we are just going to be using those little shapey boys where is silver where is she oh here she is i'm gonna use a silver may script from my shop in font five pop her in there she looks cute 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 so we just be waiting on that and this week I'm living is so freaking busy. I've been at, I'm usually film this at like 10 a.m., but I'm filming it at like 5 p.m. So with my dad all day. It's actually been a really nice day. I got there. And he he hurt his back. He just has back problems, period, from working like construction. And so I went over there and I needed to do laundry because I didn't end up going this past weekend like I usually do because I wanted to finish orders. That was my priority. So I went over today to do that and my dad wanted help looking for clothes for the rehearsal dinner, which, you know, cutting it close, John, but it's fine so we went to go we're gonna go do that but like he needed to take like some pain medication for his back but he can't take that on an empty stomach so he's like so like are you hungry and i'm like i mean i could eat and he's like okay what do you want and i'm like well, what do you want and he's like i want like real food i don't want fast food and i'm like so mexican and he's like okay so we went and got mexican food and we had my favorite waitress she's just so freaking cute and i just love her like, we walk in, and she's like, do you even need a menu? And I'm like, nah. And she's like, okay, cool. I already know what you want anyway. And I'm like, glad we're on the same page, girlfriend. So she's like, you want a Diet Coke? What do you look like to me? And I'm like, yep. And then she asked my dad what he wants. And so she did that. She came back, and they always bring you, like, chips and salsa. But I also always order queso. She just comes back with the queso and the chips and the salsa. Literally iconic. And then... My dad orders and she's just like rice and beans and I'm like, yep. 
she just knows. She knows me. She's good shit. She's my favorite waitress there. I don't know her name. She probably asked. They don't wear name tags. But she's really nice. Big fan. Big fan. So we did that and then we went to Kohl's and like my dad is always like wanting to go to Kohl's. And I hate Kohl's personally. I think it is so fucking expensive for absolutely no reason. The clothes are not cute. And it's just so overpriced for, I guess, a reason unknown to me. Maybe you're aware of the reason why it's so expensive. But I'm not a fan. So, we go there. And... My dad's like, well, what do you want me to wear? I'm like, what color are you wanting to wear? And he's like, well, if it was up to me, I'd wear black. And I'm like, well, then wear black. I'm not that type of person that's like, black is bad luck. Black's my favorite color. So if that's what you want to wear, sure. We found this like really nice like gray shirt. So we went with that. And then we found like, it's like a light, light gray. And it has like dark gray buttons on it. So we found like dark gray pants. He tried those on, he picked them out, and then we left, and he's like, so you're right. And I'm like, what? He's like, that store is so fucking expensive. Those pants were $60 just for the pants. And I'm like, yeah, bro, like, I'd be going to TJ Maxx for that type of shit that I'm only going to wear once. But we did that, and then we had to go to the Home Depot because my dad needed some tools for work, and I needed a box because, like I'm going to be dropping a bunch of stuff off at the hotel, and, like, it'd be easier to have a... The hotel is like where we're getting married. Um, it would be easier to be able to put it all in a box and have to take five bazillion trips. So, got the box. You know, I went to the bank because I um, want to pay the girl doing our hair in cash because there's like a service fee to pay. Like, she doesn't do like Venmo or PayPal, so you have to use like something with your card and there's like a service fee and that's just annoying to me so I went and got cash and my makeup girl would prefer cash anyway so I did that it's been a very productive day went back to my dad's house finished my laundry and now I'm freaking home but like tomorrow I have a nail appointment at um two o'clock and then nothing really else going on tomorrow, honestly. It's going to be kind of actually a boring day. And then Wednesday, I have a hair appointment in the morning. And then I need to go with my dad to do the drop-off for basically all the stuff for the wedding that the venue needs. In like, So we're going to bring all of our welcome bags, the seating chart, the easel, the welcome board, the card box, table numbers, place cards, like all of that stuff needs to be dropped off. So I'm going to do that on Thursday with him. And then I'm actually going out to dinner with um, one of my mom's, like, like my mom's best friend. Her name's Mel. Um, she had texted me saying like, I know you're probably really busy this week, but if you do happen to have any time, like, I'd love to just see you before the wedding, like, love you type message. And I was like, yeah, I'm actually pretty free in the evenings. It's just like during the day I have like stuff going on. Are you free? Like, I was like, I can do Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday evening. And she said, oh my God, like, let's do Wednesday. Is Chris going to join us? And I was like, I don't really care either way. If you want Chris to come, I can tell him he's coming. If you want it to just be you and me, it can just be you and me, whatever. And she's like, okay, like, I'm going to talk to my husband. I'll let you know. And then she's like, I would really like it if Chris would come, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, Chris, you're coming. Oh my God, don't even. There ain't no way I'm pulling that up. Nope, okay. That's just where she lives. Crooked as fuck. Could not be more upset. But yeah, so she wanted Chris to come, so he's gonna come. She's like, I just want him to know he's a part of the family too, which I thought was absolutely precious. So he's gonna come with us and we're gonna go get dinner. So like Wednesday, I'm fully booked, like all damn day. Thursday, Chris has to get a COVID test for a procedure next week. And they scheduled it for him on Thursday. So we're gonna go do that and then my one of my bridesmaids, the one who lives out of town, her name's Shanna, she'll be getting into town, not till like midnight, but and then also 
My mom's family who lives in Illinois will be getting into town that day. So that's crazy. Friday, I'm going to need to check into my hotel room whenever that's ready. Not really sure when that's going to be ready yet. She said check-ins usually at 4, but they prioritize weddings, so she'll let me know when I can get into the room. And then I need to bring all of, like, the stuff I need day of that I don't want to bring, obviously, on Wednesday, which is, like, the stuff they need to set up. Like, I'm going to bring the bridesmaids' dresses, the bridesmaids' and groomsmen gifts, like, my jewelry, my purse, um, all of that kind of stuff along with my wedding dress and I want to do it like during the day so like before the rehearsal dinner so that Chris can be like at home while I go do it and I gotta go pick up my dress from my friend's house so I'm gonna have to do that and then we have the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner and that is the wedding it's a wild week but we are done with the base so we are gonna zoom on in to the zoom on a <laughs> this does look actually really pretty so if this is your wedding vibes stunning not for me, but stunning for you. I'm just going to pop this rose from the wedding sheet from Carly Plans here in the sidebar to mark one week. I do PR for Carly Plans, so you can use Hannah 15 to save. And you'll also get my freebie. Or if you're buying something already on sale, you can just pop Hannah in the notes to get my freebie. Helps you out, helps me out. It's just it's just the right thing to do. So per usual, I'm just, or per the last couple of plan with me, I guess, I'm gonna just throw a little thing across the top of each day. And I like to do that first so that I can like keep my pattern of little things. And this is gonna be for my daily wedding countdown. throwing me off because this week in my regular planner I um had two scenes so the boxes are like not in the same spots okay cutie 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 Now we will get into the good old Monday. That is going to be used to mark 12 days until the wedding. And then uh, it was also payday. So we are going to mark her in there. I'm going to actually just automatically take another green because I am going to be putting five little things up here like I tend to do on Mondays. So Mondays tend to be my busy freaking day of the week. Okay. Cool. <coughs> so, I'm going to be using a bunch of different silver hearts. I have this one from SPC to mark 12 days. And for payday, I have these this money from Carly Plans as well as a payday script from my shop and found one in silver. For the post office drop, I have this little stamp from SPC as well as a custom PO drop from my shop in Font 5 in black. Gotta get my McDonald's breakfast. I have a hash brown here from Carly Plans as well as a McDonald's oops script from my shop in Font 5 in hollow. And then I planned, I do have a planner here from SPC as well as a plan script from my shop in Font 5 in silver. I think I need to start using some new pages in this book because these are getting like gross. Onto the bottom half, I did film. So I'll mark that, and then this is when I realized the disaster that had become this day. This is when it unfolded in front of my eyeballs. And to cope, I was sending Andrea a bunch of wax. So my coping mechanism was to go through my wax and like pick stuff out to send to her. So that was nice. For filming, I have a camera here from Carly Plans as well as a film script from my shop in Fanta 5 in silver. For that whole situation, I have this from, I think that's from Once More With Love. Could be the Coffee Monsters Co. Not really sure. 
and I have a pissed the fuck off script for my shop in front of four in black and then for the wax for Andrea I do have this like heart scent shot cup from SPC to market. On to Tuesday, the first thing I will be marking is the 11 days until the wedding. The next thing I'm going to be marking is that Chris had his warts burnt off of or froze off of his feet. Also, I went to Target, went to Target before the doctor's appointment, but I put it in here, so we're just going to keep it there, I suppose. And then we got like a belated birthday lunch for Chris's mom. We went to Golden Corral, which is fucking gross, but that's what she wanted, so that's where we went. This little heart here from SPC to mark that. To mark the doctors, I have this mask from SPC. For going to Target, I have a Target icon from Magical Magic Prince Co. and a shopping script from SPC in silver. For grabbing lunch, I have this fork and knife from Carly Plans, as well as a custom with Drina script in font five. That's Chris's mom's name in black. And then I did work on some like design stuff, not like sticker stuff. Not like making stickers, I guess I should say. So we'll pop that in there. And then I had a bit of a YouTube binge. Here, and then I'm gonna use this label from the washi to mark that I went over to my sister's house and hung out with her and Whitney. This should have gone, oh, I can still change it because none of this stuff matters. Heck, freaking yeah, baby. Okay, perfect. So for working, I do have this computer from Carly Plans as well as a work script from my shop. This is actually in the new font that will be coming in July, font six. So look at that. And then YouTube binge, I have a movie marquee from my shop in silver. And then I have a YouTube binge script from my shop in font four in silver. And then for going to Haley, my sister and Whitney's, I have a TV here, or a TV. A house icon from SPC as well as a with sis and Whitney sticker in font 5. I'm actually going to rip this sheet out of here because it is like all jankity and I need to use a new one starting next week. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, yeah, you can. Like it's all scratched up. So we're just going to toss that and we'll start a new one next week. Okay, this little label will be marking 10 days until the wedding. Do have a couple of birthdays to mark this day. It is both my cousin Mike and my cousin Jackie's birthday. So that's one out there. I had an extensions adjustment at 9.30 in the morning. And then I did work out this day. I have not worked out since. It literally fucked me off. Like the exercise I did had me like out of the saddle, as they say in the Peloton world. And it hurt my arms so bad for days that I just decided I'm not doing that. So I have this tiny heart from like the old size stickers I used to do, but that's from my shop. For my cousin Mike's birthday, I have this cupcake from Carly Plans. And it says Mike one because his son's name is also Mike and his birthday is today. So, and they're not like junior and senior. It's like one and two, so that's Mike one. And then I have a cupcake here from SBC to mark my cousin Jackie Lynn, her birthday. And then for my hair, I have a little extension sticker from Carly Plans. And then for working out, I do have a Peloton sticker or an exercise bike from my shop as well as a workout script from my shop in font five. And then I did organize the place cards this day because they had come in the mail. Chris and I went on a date to get Mexican food. And this was while I was waiting for the paper to be delivered and then it got delivered and it all sucked. It was just a terrible experience. I was really stressed, so yeah. For the organizing the cards, I have this sticker here from Carly Plans from the wedding sheet. For getting Mexican food, I have this taco from Magic Prince Co. as well as a custom from Jojo Quan Plans that says with Chris. And then for everything still going bad, I have this sticker from uh, Once More with Love Coffee Masters Co. I don't really know. 
And then I just have the word fuck from my shop in font too, because that's how I was feeling about the situation. That's the first half on to the second. This will be to mark nine days until the wedding. Oh, I lied. I also, nope, I didn't lie. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. So I did work out this day, kind of, kind of, kind of. Chris and I went to the park and went on a walk, which was really nice and fun and cute. And I enjoyed it. But on the walk, I'm like, oh my God, I, this actually has to be like a really quick walk. We can only walk for like 30 minutes because I realized I don't want to get any tan lines right before the wedding. So there's that. And it's right by this like local place. It's called Hides. It's like famous for hot dogs. I don't eat hot dogs. I got a real cheese, but Chris always wants to go and I figured it would be something fun to do. So for nine days, I have another circle heart from SPC for going on a walk. I have these van stickers from Carly Plans and I just used workout because technically it's an exercise. For the little hot dog day, I have a hot dog here from, I think that is from Carly Plans. It's just really old. And then it with Chris script from Jojo Kwan Plans. And then we came home and did like a deep clean of the apartment. So I have that vacuum from Carly Plans. Down to the second half. This is when I figured out I could get the paper to work. I was really freaking excited, honestly. So, you best believe I worked. Worked for the majority of the evening and then the bridesmaids dress saga had come to a closure, which was fabulous. I really like this green color and this green pattern. And I watched House while I was um, working. So I'm going to use this. My sister actually came over and tried on the dress. My sister is not girly and the dress is very girly and even she thinks it looks pretty. So this computer from Curly Plan, super old, doesn't have them anymore. This is the work script, the new one that will be coming to the shop. I have this sticker from Once More With Love to mark how excited I was that that dress saga was over. And for watching House, I have a TV icon from my shop as well as a house script from my shop in font five in silver. On to Friday. Eight days until the wedding. Crap, I think this one's on 20%. Sorry if we're in a different position. My phone's like about to die. I think I can finish the video though, but I'm gonna have to plug it in before my next filming sesh. But anywho, this is to mark eight days until the wedding. And then I got some Dunkin' Donuts because I was meeting my friend Caitlin, my best friend Caitlin, at Target. She was going shopping and I missed her. So I was like, I'm just going to meet you and the kids at Target. So I did that. And then Liz came over to pick up her bridesmaid's dress because she bought three pairs of shoes and isn't sure which one she wants to wear with it yet. So there was that. For eight days, I have a little heart here from SPC. And then for Duncan, I have a little donut from SPC as well as a Duncan script from my shop and font one in black. For going shopping with Caitlin and the kiddos, I have this sticker, I got this from Mick Plans. It's like a mom with a son and a daughter because she has two kids. And I just am going to use my custom visit, Caitlin Carter and Kennedy. And then for Liz stopping by, I have the same present from the wedding sheet from Carly Plans, as well as a with Liz custom from my shop in Font 2. As we tend to do, we went grocery shopping and we also got Chinese food for dinner because... Why the heck not? Delish. And then... Oh, I just gotta try to squeeze these in, actually. I worked. You know what? I'm just gonna use a flag. I used a box in my regular planner, and it was so tight and looks terrible, actually. So, I'm just gonna do one of these. And good old Aunt Flo, she came to town. 
okay she made her entrance i'm actually really excited that she made her entrance this day so that she'll be gone by the time of the wedding so for wegmans i have a grocery cart from carly plans as well as a wegmans script from my shop in font five in silver for chinese food i have a takeout container from carly plans as well as a chinese food script from my shop in font five in black for working i've got a silhouette from carly plans as well as work in the new font six in silver and then for my period, I've got a little pad here from Carly Plans, as well as a Fuck Up My Uterus script in black and font four. On to Saturday. That'll be tomorrow to seven days. I'm also redundant. Don't really care. And I also like to mark just the whole one week. So that'll be marked here. And then I worked. Worked, 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 worked. She needs to be moved up. That like literally does not fit. I don't know how it doesn't fit because it definitely did in my other planner, but we'll just use that. That's fine. I do actually need one of these here, so I'll just pop it in here. Works out fine. So I have a heart icon from my shop, and then for one week, I'm gonna use this wedding couple from Once More With Love, and then for work, I have a computer from Carly Plans, as well as a work script from my shop in font six in silver. This will be to mark what, having zero open freaking orders, which is oh, next level. This is to mark going to the food trucks with my sister and Whitney, and then I'm just gonna mark, Chris and I watched Orange is the New Black when we got home. So for being excited about finishing the orders, I have this like foiled, excited once more with love sticker. So I'm gonna pop that in there. I have a food truck icon in black from my shop as well as a with Sis and Whitney script from my shop in black. And then for orange is the new black, I have a TV sticker from Carly Plans. Then on to Sunday, six days until the wedding, it was Caitlin's surprise birthday party. So that must be marked pretty big. Um, went to Target and McDonald's. This was both before the party, but you know, we're just marking it in this order because that's what I did in my other planner. Um, I had to get, oh, I ran out of, like, Advil, so I had to go get that at Target, and then I knew I probably wouldn't like any of the food at the party, which I was right, so I needed to eat something. Got a happy meal. This heart is from SPC. This present is from SPC to mark Caitlin's party. For Target, I have this bullseye from Carly Plans, as well as a Target script from my shop in Font 4 in black. For McDonald's, I've got a happy meal from Carly Plans, as well as a oops McDonald's script from my shop in Font 5 in silver. And then I'm going to mark that I had a YouTube binge once I returned home and I worked on um, July new releases, actually. Very exciting. And we watched more orange. I really am supposed to use green, but I don't want the two greens next to each other. That kind of grosses me out. So we're going to use that. So for YouTube, I have this movie clapper from my shop as well as YouTube binge and font four, both in silver. For working, I've got a computer from Carly Plans as well as work in font six from my shop in silver. And then for orange, we've got a TV from Carly Plans. That's everything. Ugh, can't wait to use new pages. That was like really gross the way that they were like peeling like that. Okay. So I'm gonna fill this all in and then I'll show you the finished spread and we will put away all of the leftovers.
there she is. I think this actually looks really freaking cutie. Big fan of how it turned out. Let us. The um, papers that I use are from Amazon. I would say I'd link them, but I'm not going to remember because this video is going to go up multiple weeks from now. And I will not know that I even said that. But they're from Amazon. I think you can just look up reusable sticker paper and find it, pretty much. <sighs> I'm sick of half boxes, literally. So many half boxes that I pretty much never reach for. They're like the worst size. Do any of you like, I feel like I've asked this before, but I'm like still genuinely curious. Do you use half boxes like on the regular? I use like one max to a spread, if that. And there's just so many in this kit format. Most kits, way more than I would ever use in all kits. <laughs> but maybe I'm just like the only secret half box hater out there. Maybe everybody else thinks that they're the bee's knees. And it's just me. I, I'm a big fan of like labels and squared off boxes. Um, I think it was Jessica from J Crew Plans had posted like a picture on her story using my Chris underlays and like saying how she wished more like peaked out and she should use them on like less busy weeks. And I messaged her and I'm like, girl, you got to use, because she had marked work, like really big with a half box. I'm like, just use the weird size boxes or flags to mark work and you'll be golden. And she used undo on like the entire week and redid it and loved how it came out. So that's another thingy, a little trickity doodah. If you're using underlays and you like are sad that you're not seeing a lot of them, use more like flags and squared off boxes. And I think there's even like a new type of box like that that's a little bit smaller in like the new SPC format. Highly recommend using that to mark stuff so that you can see them. It's like the best possible way in me opinion. Or maybe you just hate those boxes. Maybe you hate me. Maybe you hate my underlays and you think it all sucks. If that's the case, I guess just ignore me. I never, ever, ever really reach for this color palette of like tans and browns. It's not my thing, so I'm not too worried about what I don't get to keep because I don't have space for it because I straight up never reach for tans and browns. But that's it, guys. If you liked this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then, well, give it a thumbs down. Because either way, you're wrapping on my channel. Comment down below. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.